Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get your skill assessment from Engineers Australia. This video is for Washington Accord Pathway. This is not for non-accredited qualifications. Now let's move forward to the video. First you have to open your browser. Here, search Engineers Australia. Now, click on this website. Here, you, you got the official Engineers Australia website. Now, click on My Account option. This is my account, but first of all, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own account. Click here. Click on create new account. Here you have to submit your basic details like your name, your date of birth, country of residence. Click here, submit. Go back and login with your details here. As I have already created my account, I'm gonna show you how you can start your MSA booklet, how you can start your migration skill assessment application. This is the screen you will get, and here you have to click apply for migration skills stage one assessment. Click here. First of all, you need few documents ready if you want to start your application. These are the documents you need. So for this assessment, as I, as I have already told you, this is for Washington Accord Pathway. So you need your passport, your prime identification document, your degree and transcripts each semester, IELTS TRF with 6H, but there is a condition that if you don't have six in each module and if have and if you have 5.5 .5 in any of your module then you can use combination of res combination of results like uh, you have given your test you got this score test one you got 5.5 .5 in speaking but in your second test you got six in speaking but in other module you got 5.5 .5. But no worries, you can use both these results to get your assessment because these are according to the new rules of Engineers Australia, they accept combination of results. They just want to see that you are competent and you have once scored six in each and every module. That's it. Fourth doc document, they need cover letter. It, it just, you have to explain which what is your desired outcome like professional engineer 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 technologist or maybe third categories uh, engineering professional i don't know the third one but as i have done my skill assessment i got professional engineer so yeah you can get yours also you need passport size photo circulum vitae cv just basic details your graduation and what you are doing right now internship or job doesn't matter if you don't have any job that's it it's not an issue because they just want to assess your degree unless or until you are choosing relevant skill up employment option also so here you need credit card also for the payment 445 australian dollars plus tax it's for normal track but if you want your uh, assessments uh, fast then you have to choose fast track mode you will get you will have to pay 315 australian dollar for that 
okay so these are the documents just prepare them and then go to ba go back go back on the website login with your detail and click here migration skill assessment click on this i agree and then your pathway listen there are different types of pathway you have to check first on which pathway your degree stands like if your degree is accredited with the australian qualification it may be sydney accord dublin accord or maybe non accredited qualification like then you have to choose this competency demonstration report and you have to prepare those three career episodes that is a different topic i'm i'm not going to i am not talking about that for washington accord you just have to click here then uh, as i have said earlier if you want to assess your experience also as you know you need minimum 3 years of experience for to get 5 points for your australian permanent residency so this is the relevant skill employment if you choose here you have to provide uh, employers letter or maybe your experience letter and your pay slips bank statement there are a lot of things if you want your experience experience to be assessed so here i'm not choosing this continue with the application so here you get the screen accept this i agree then move forward continue with the application so first of all remember upload photos and uh, pdfs which with clear resolution plus they have given their own resolution you can read to this we prefer that written documents are in pdf format we require a color scan of original document with minimum resolution of 300 dpi so you don't have to submit a documents which has less than 300 dpi resolution files should not be larger than 5 mb please remember these things whenever you are submitting your application so first of all upload your passport size image as i have talked earlier in this video you have to upload your passport size photo prime identification you can use your passport for this okay name change document is not compulsory for everyone but for them for the applicants who have changed their name in their documents in their respected documents then they have to upload prime this name change document that's it circulum vitae that's it these are the documents which is needed basically and next when you go to the application you need english evidence of registration is not mandatory for everyone as you can see for more information about these you have to read msa booklet you can get in from you can get it from engineers australia website so upload here cover letter provide cover letter for outcome preference they are just asking your preference which outcome you want english language competency so here you have to upload your ielts trf i told you you can upload multiple trf like combination of two trf then click here so okay this is the stage where where you have to choose do you want fast track application or not add qualifications country choose my country is india you can choose your country institution
एक्स वाई चैड यूनिवर्सिटी Personal details. Everything is done. Now, everything is completed. Now, submit application and pay. so this is the required fees which must be paid if you want your outcome 445 australian dollars it you can pay by credit card debit card or maybe pay by tax invoice i don't know about this i have paid my fees by credit card so you can choose this option fill the details fill the details here and click on submit button then you will get your screen where you can write your otp and pay the application fees that's it guys this this is how you can submit your engineers australia skill assessment application thank you very much and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and if you want videos how to submit So thank you guys. This was the whole video about how can, how you can get your skill assessment from Engineers Australia. Now I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like if you get any help from this video. Thank you.